Whenever the F1 circus goes on its travels, the racing starts for the team even before the actual race itself. It's a case then of getting everything for man and machine together, packing up, checking lists, above all, not forgetting anything. Over the years, experience grows. I believe that the groundwork that people have to do um, to achieve a, a good logistics, let's say, is, is experience of the business in motorsport, not necessarily in Formula One. When things get going, seven removals pros pack everything in. From light bulbs for the officers to all the spares for the cars. Everything that's needed for the team's day-to-day -day work. Maintenance and operating checks are also part of the job. After all, just like the cars, all the equipment must work perfectly too. Everyone has their work cut out. I think the tar you have to set uh, a very clear targets for yourself. We have to, we have our plans. We have made, we make plans every year. Uh, once the calendar is is made from the FIA, we sit down with all the different departments and we look at the the dates for the freight, the dates for the trucks leaving, uh, when we want to have the people there, when we want to have all the equipment there, and then basically we go away and we arrange all that. <laughs> With cleaning and checking equipment, it takes around two days to fully load the trucks. Then it's out onto the road. The truckies cover up to 30,000 kilometers a year. The longest trip is to the race in Istanbul. Once on site, they crack on with barely a break. Everything has to come out again and be set up. All the telemetry, chassis parts, axles, gearboxes, engines and more. When you add it all up, it's a fair old weight that gets moved around. About 38 or 39 tons, even a bit more for European races because then of course you've got all the equipment in the trucks too, like workbenches and all sorts of uh, conceivable extras needed for all the officers that are completely fitted out up top. Then you're already up to 36 or 37 tons for each truck and we've got four of them. Then they really get grunt. It takes up to eight hours to completely fit out the pits. Depending on the circuit, the garage sizes vary between 120 and 180 square meters. Working space for two cars. The process is a new challenge every year. As the start of the season always brings with it some new and sometimes incalculable factors. You normally have um, enough equipment, enough parts in the truck or in the air freight to build another car. So effectively you would have uh, four complete cars at the track, one in parts, three complete. Um, that's more difficult at the beginning of the season because obviously you have a new car and you have a new specification. So to actually achieve that is a little bit more difficult. But normally that's the target we have, is that we have three complete cars plus one in parts. Every part, no matter how tiny, be it a screw or clip, has a serial number by which it's listed. If anything goes wrong or is missing, it can be quickly sent on from Cologne. It's a huge effort then to get two cars out onto the track. And it's the people who do something that no machine can. We can't influence so much the performance of the car um, from logistics itself. Um, but certainly in terms of um, uh, creating the atmosphere for the people to do their job and perform um, because quite often you have very, very long days, you have people working late into, e into the evening. So it's, it's, it's a very important challenge to make sure that those people have the right environment to work in and that's part of our responsibility is to ensure that. The team manager takes this very seriously and makes sure that these roughly 90 hard-working race team members are given a perfect meal three times a day at any circuit in the world and that each of them can relax in their own hotel room. Once again, another exciting race weekend has drawn to a close, but the next will come very soon.